Let's look at the concept of the resettlement scheme. Mm -hmm. People have been displaced, they have been traumatized, now government wants to bring them back. Let me first of all ride on what my colleague said, that these people are coming back to their home. The first principle is to ensure that the community has a buy-in into this project. They have to own it. If you are displaced and you are asked to come back, you are not forced to come back. It has to be willingly. And I can tell you in the case of Kaduna, we visited them. The government chose where they are going to be resettled and the community had a buy-in. So that is settled. And once the project... How, how was that done? Through community engagement okay. with leaders, traditional leaders, religious leaders, women leaders, the youth leader, they were all involved. And they sat on the round table, agreed, discussed. Don't forget, these people who we are resettling are part and parcel of that community. They are victims. They are victims of the community. Rela relations of victims that are still alive, so they are part of that community. They are not bringing new people in, so the community have taken ownership. And once you have the community taking ownership, half of your problem, I mean, your problem is half solved. And uh, like the governor said, these people are enthusiastic about this project. Why? Tudumbiri, hitherto, is not accessible to anybody. But now the government is constructing a six kilometer asphalt laid road. You agree with me? That will boost the economy, that will open up the community, and more people will want to go around the area. This Tudumbiri we are talking about is about six kilometers away from the Kaduna International Airport. So it's, it's not a landlocked area, it's a very nice place. And uh, talking about the project itself, the project is going to be for housing and other ancillary uh, schemes like education, schools. You have schools, you have hospitals. In fact, the government is building religious houses. You saw the mosque, it's standing there, that mosque you saw. The vice president prayed there, so it's already in place. This uh, skill acquisition center that is being built by Kaduna State Government has gone very far. So by the time we bring in these houses and the school, you should expect a turnaround for the community. You know, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that this is happening in, you know, Tudum, uh, Tudumbiri. Tudumbiri. Yes. Uh, 